drives all the way in and with a left hand with a dunk and he gets fouled as well. From the corner, drops it in for three. For three. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, this guy is off the charts. For this episode of Unsung Heroes, we're going to be talking about arguably the greatest role player in the history of the NBA. A seven-time champion who was dubbed Big Shot Bob during his NBA days. He lived up to that name as well, seemingly able to make every clutch shot for every team he played on. If you have not guessed who this is already, we are talking about Robert Ory, best known for his time in the Lakers and Rockets. But for this episode, we'll be talking about Ory's final team he played on, the team that delivered his seventh, yes I said seventh, NBA championship, the San Antonio Spurs. To set the stage, we are going to travel back to time before the iconic Wii console was released and Pluto was still considered a planet. The date is June 24th, 2005, and the San Antonio Spurs had just defeated the defending champion Detroit Pistons in a grueling seven-game series, where only once did a team score more than 100 points in a game. The Spurs' Tim Duncan is dominating the headlines, averaging a monstrous 20.5, 14 rebounds, and two blocks in the series. Other contributors like international stars Tony Parker and Manu Ginobili put up big performances and are being heralded as the next big three in basketball. Bruce Bowen also emerged as a defensive stopper and a deadly three-point shooter in the series. But who closed out these games? Who hit the big shots in the series? That would be none other than Big Shot Bob. In the seven-game series, Ori averaged 11 points a game, which is four from the team. But what made this impressive is that his 11 points nearly doubled his average from the regular season, which was six points a game. Ori did not start a game in the entire series, but was so effective when he entered that he was used heavily in the fourth quarter. Ori led both teams in three-point makes in the series and shot an amazing 48.4% from beyond the arc. His true shooting was 61.1%, which was second out of everyone in the series, and his effective field goal percentage was an astonishing 58.8%, the highest of anyone in the series. In the four wins the Spurs had, Ori was plus 42 point differential as well. His biggest moment in the series, however, came in a pivotal game five in Detroit, with the series tied at two games apiece. The Spurs trailed by two with under 10 seconds to play and had the ball on a sidelines inbound play. Ori was the inbounder and he passed the ball into Ginobili into the left corner. The Pistons immediately doubled, leaving Ori wide open on the left wing. Ori received the bounce pass from Ginobili and calmly drained the game winner, giving the Spurs a 3-2 series lead and putting them one win away from a championship. Ori would finish that game with 21 points, hitting five three-pointers, including the game winner in the process. Two games later, the Spurs would close out the Pistons in seven, claiming their third championship in the process. So before you think of the San Antonio Spurs as a team carried by a historical big three, be sure to remember the importance of role players. In particular, the greatest role player of all time, a true big shot maker, Robert Ory.